Yo, what up guys, Old School Daniel, and in today's video, we're going to be doing a workout video in tribute to the legendary Frank Colombo, who just recently passed away. May he rest in peace. So this workout is going down in his name. So with that being said, let's go, go ahead and start off with the Frank Colombo four crucial chest training tips. Here we go. First tip is to ch train the chest thoroughly. Don't just go willy nilly, you know, through the motions, go through the motions during a chest workout actually work the chest thoroughly with different exercises different sets and reps give the chest a shock next tip is to don't build big pectoral muscles build a chest he said there's a difference a big you know big pectoral muscles what he says is just basically a chest with a lot of size but it has no definition no actual shape it's just big he says that a chest what a real chest is you know, it's got definition, it's got separation, it's got that underlying pec line, it's got that shape, it's got that separation between the upper chest and the middle chest and the lower chest. There's that There's that definition. It's called those striations. That's a chest. Next tip is to de breathe deeply between reps, super important. Um, last tip is to focus on breathing, focus on perfect form. And lastly, focus on nailing down that mind to muscle connection with concentration. Really concentrate, really think about this, the pecs stretching when you're doing a bench press or when you're doing flies. Think of the chest stretching. And when you're doing the uh, concentration part of the movement, think of it squeezing, squeezing that chest. Really feel the movement. All right. So now we're going to move into the actual chest workout. For my own analysis, this workout seems to be like a bread and butter, you know, golden era chest workout. So first we're gonna start off the workout with the bench press. Four sets of down pyramid, 10 reps beginning, then adding some weight, moving into eight reps, adding some weight, moving into six reps, and then adding some weight, and then finally finishing off with four reps. Your chest should be pretty exhausted after that, after that pyramid, at continuously, you know, adding weight. Um, moving into the incline press. Four sets of eight for the upper chest. The bench press was for the mass and thickness, you know, of the chest. Um, this one's for the upper part of the chest, which was something he really had. You know, it was one of his great features of his chest because he had that incredible separation between the upper chest, lower chest, and middle chest. It was insane. And the flat dumbbell flies um, for the mass of the chest to really, you know, stretch out those outer pectorals. Three sets of eight. And then finishing off with the lower chest part of the work to work the lower um, chest. Finish off with a basic, you know, compound movement, dips, three sets of 10. Um, so he said that the bench press can be done with the barbell. He recommends the barbell. Moving into the incline press can be done with the uh, dumbbells or barbells, however you please. I personally love the dumbbells. Um, I, I think it works better for um, attaining real symmetry because you're able to control the load of each side. Whereas the barbell, sometimes you really push more with the right instead of the left. Uh, flat dumbbell fly is obviously done with the with the dumbbells. Dips, they can be done, done weighted or without weight. Um, looks like a pretty damn good chest workout. I've actually done something like this pretty similar myself. I've actually completed the Franco chest workout. It gives you an insane pump. It's incredible. I love it. It's so good. Um, lastly, I want to add two extras that he actually recommends in the book. Um, these are two extras that can be done after the workout. If you feel like you have some energy still left to train the chest, you can go ahead and implement these. The two extras include a close grip bench. This could be categorized to work the quote unquote inner pectorals. Um, so it's got a closer grip. And lastly, the dumbbell pullover, which is great for the chest, back, and rib cage, of course. All right, guys. So with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. May Franco rest in peace. I'm actually thinking about doing some more Franco videos. What's your opinion about that? Do you feel like you want to see more workouts by him? Like uh, maybe it could be a back workout because he had an incredible back. Um, let me know. Leave a comment in the section below. With that being said, subscribe for more videos like this. Give this video a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. I'm Old School Dan. I'm gone. Peace.